Evening, thanks for watching and streaming. I'm Mallory Safaste. Following four murders in less than 24 hours, a volunteer group is holding a community discussion to bring forth solutions to end the violence. This evening, the Tandia family, a group of volunteers working to improve Baltimore City, organized a meeting. WMAR 2 News' Nordea Lewis was there. She brings us the details. On Wednesday, four people in Park Heights lost their life to gun violence in less than 24 hours. Community leaders say it's time for the neighbors of Baltimore to take action. 25-year-old Tavez Miles, 20-year-old Omar Burris, 24-year-old Jalil George, and a 32-year-old all were shot and killed Wednesday. Their loved ones are mourning their son's life and searching for answers as police haven't made any arrest yet. Community leaders say they're sick of the violence, which is why the organization, the Tendea family, is calling on the community to come together to hold neighbors accountable and preserve the next generation by speaking up and taking action. Because the reaction to the murders that's happening in Baltimore City is causing people to say, I got to leave Baltimore City, I got to get out of Baltimore City. But that hopelessness is not productive. I understand it, I empathize with it, but... We have a generation to save and we got kids that's coming after the kids that exist now. And unless we do something to shift the conditions of the community, people will continue to die. Tonight at 11, we'll share some of the solutions that were discussed at the meeting. But until then, if anyone has information on the shootings, you're encouraged to contact Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-8667-LOCKUP. In Baltimore, for WMAR 2 News, I'm Norday Lewis.